Hi everybody, I am Miss Molly here with UAB's Art Play. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D pop-out card. So this is what we're working towards. It's super easy and super fun and you can do a lot of different things with it. As always, you only need a few things, glue, paper, and scissors. So for the paper, this is a fun activity to use old magazines, um, cut out some of the images from that, or maybe if you have some old photos around the house that you didn't want to get framed, but you still like and want to do something with, this is the perfect activity for that. So the very first thing you're going to do is take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Easy, peasy, so far. The next thing we're going to do is create these columns. So these are what makes it a 3D work of art. Super easy to do. All you have to do is cut out six lines. I start with the middle column, which is typically the biggest, but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And then make sure that it's even on both sides. And then go ahead and fold it. So you want to make sure that that crease is in there, nice and solid. And then you do the same thing with two other sides. So fold it. And then one more. This is the hardest part of it, and you're already basically done. Go you. Okay. So here you go. Now open up a piece of paper. It's probably all going to lay flat. So what you want to do is poke those columns out so that they fold away from the rest of the paper. It's like that. So now, just to be certain that all of our creases are right, I like to fold it one more time and make sure all of the creases are in the right place. And there you go. So now what you do, you're going to start gluing stuff to these columns. So this is where if you have an old photo or something cut out from a magazine, this can be fun. You can have some people walking on a beach. You could have just some abstract things. For this, I'm just going to make some shapes. So I'm going to make a heart. All right, now I have my shapes. So now you add glue to the front side of the column. And if you have liquid glue, that's also fine, really anything that's gonna make it stick. Um, but you wanna make sure if you're using anything that's runny that it dries all out before you fold it back up. Cause then you won't be able to open it again and that'll be sad. Okay, what do I want to add here? I guess I'll put my triangle. Now, in an ideal world, oh, here I have a different triangle than we use. You want to try to cover up the column fully to add the 3D effect. Now, if your thing is short, that's absolutely fine. No worries. And there's the glue and do the same thing with the other two columns. Okay. And there you have it pop-out card. Ooh, there we go. 
So this is super fun. Like I said, you can make some scenery if you wanted to add some photos. You could make a sky up here at the top and maybe a ground down here at the bottom, or you could just go absolutely crazy and collage the whole thing and then cut it up. Whatever works for you is good. Um, so that is all for today. Again, I am Miss Molly. I'm here with UAB's Art Play, and stay tuned for more arts activities. Thank you so much. Bye.